Today we're going to go over rigging techniques, uh, specifically gang rigging. We've been here on the Potomac River hunting long lines and gang rigs. You've got typically two types of long line clips. You've got the bigger, the smaller. They both have their pros and cons. There's basically two types of long lines. Main line type with the three pound anchors on each end. Some people use the coated anchors. We use the fold ups. They don't get hung up and they actually pack real well and they're very versatile for other uses other than just the gang line. The second type is the old herders rig style. Some nice tarred cord diameter based on how much current and water depth you're using. I don't recommend getting anything too thin because it becomes very hard on your hands and your gloves over time. Length of the line depends on, you know, basically how long you want it. We like ours a little longer than some. These are 36s. Spacing. Here's the first decoy here. Good long stretch. As you can see, the next decoy's coming up. It's about an eight foot separation between the decoys again personal preference on how long you want your rig to be. Our rig is about 100 feet plus or minus. With that, weights. We particularly here have a real hard bottom so we need some, some more weight. As you can see we use things pretty simple. Just an old can weight with an eye bolt in it. Uh, most of the time when you're doing this you're in a boat and it keeps a lot of that rope out of the bottom of the boat because when you're boat hunting safety always comes first. That's your tip for today.